This lesson will be on string manipulation. So, there are a few different types of string manipulation. The first one is called concatenation. This is where you join two strings together. Now, this can be done by using the plus sign in Python. So when you use the plus sign, it will join the two strings together, but without a space. So if you look at the code here, we've asked it for first name, then we asked for surname, and then we join the first name with the surname together. You just merge them together. That's what concatenation means. Now, you can also do that in Python. Uh, so you can uh, join two things together in Python using the comma. However, the comma will add a space to it as well. But why, why do we not always use, use commas? Now, the reason for that is because you can't use the commas inside variables. For example, here we're asking for first name and then we're asking for uh, surname. Now, what we did here is I put first name here. I've asked for first name, then I use surname, and I put for first name, enter your surname. It's because I wanted the user to see their first name when asking for surname. Now, when I do that, so if I print first name and then surname, So I'm just going to call it A. It says input expected at most one argument. Now this will not work because I use this. I use the comma inside the variable. So you can use a comma in print commands. That's fine. But you can't do that in variables. So here you would need to use the plus sign to concatenate the string with the variable name. Now when I do that, I'm just going to call it mark. James. You can see it says enter your first name Mark and it says Mark enter your surname. So you can see this program worked now because I used the plus sign instead of the comma. So next we have length check. So length is when you're trying to find the length of a string. So in this case we use the len function in Python. So name equals hello. So this variable is storing the word hello, the string hello. Then what I did here on the second line, I printed, so I print length of name. This will print the length of name, which is five, because there are five characters inside name. So that's the purpose of the length function, to find the length of a specific string. Now here we have another example. We're asked, I asked for a name, then I printed the length of name. Now this will print the length of whatever the user enters. Now if you look at the example at the bottom, we can see I've entered Jeff as my name. Then it displayed the number four because Jeff has four letters. Okay, next we have case conversion. So you can use dot upper and dot lower to convert to either uppercase or lowercase. So in this equation, I've asked the user for a name, then I displayed the name in uppercase and then I displayed it in lowercase. So you put the variable name and then dot upper and then you open bracket and close it. So this is a built-in Python function. And then dot lower will change it to lowercase. So you can see I type Marcus Alex and then it displayed Marcus Alex all in capitals, then Marcus Alex all in lowercase. Finally, we have substrings. So this is another type of string um, manipulation. So to find, so substrings is used to extract part of a string. Now substring index number starts with zero. So you can see I've uh, num numbered the indexes here at the bottom using that table. So what do you think the following will display? Now, country equals England, and then print country zero. Now we can see England, the first letter of England is E. So, because we're printing index zero, it will display the letter E, and just the letter E and nothing else. So you put that in square brackets. Next I have minus one. So minus one is used to select the last character. Now the last character here is the letter D. So print country minus one will select 
the letter D or will display the letter D. Here we have another example. So you can extract more than one letter. To do that, we use the colon in the middle in Python. So to extract it, first I want to say what the starting position is. So the zero is the start position. Two is up to that number, but not including that number. So for example, we have zero and one and then two, but then we're not including the two. So we technically will display in zero and one, which is EN. Okay, so this is in Python. Now in pseudocode, it's slightly different. So in pseudocode, when you're using string manipulation, substrings, you have to think of it that way. So the first letter, or the first number, represent the start position as well, exactly the same as Python. Then the second number represents how many characters or how many letters it will display. For example, in this case, we're starting with position three. So remember, substring start with zero. So we go to position three, which is L. Then it says four letters. So L is one letter. And then A is the second, N is the third, and D is the fourth. So four letters in total, including position three. So this will display land, L-A-N-D. So just land, three and comma four. Now in pseudocode, they use comma instead of the colon. In Python, we use colons normally. Next, we have another example, country.substring23. So two and three. So here we need to look at position two, which is the starting position. So that's G and then it says three next to it. Three is how many letters? G, L, A, that's three letters in total and we're done. So this program will display G, L, A. Here is another example. We've got um, country equals United States, print country dot substring one comma three. Now, 1, 3 means we're starting at number 1, which is the N, and then include three letters. So, NIT. Your final answer will be NIT. Here is another example. We start from position 3, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, which is the T, and then include three letters. So, T, E, N, D, TED. Now, here, that's a tricky one. It says start from position 7. Now, if you United has six letters in it, or six characters, but the space also counts as a character. So the space is number seven. And then we're doing seven comma six. So this will display states.